And now the kind of guy, hang on, here we go. And now the kind of guy to roll up his sleeves and say no more Mr. Nice Guy when he starts losing. No, that's not me. That's, that's another whiff, unfortunately. That's definitely mouth. I did see the deadly Panera Bread lemonade, by the way. Thank you for reminding me. I don't have anything to say about it, though. Like, uh, you might think that I got some kind of pithy one-liner. It's just a situation that sucks all around. Lady had a heart condition, avoided caffeinated beverages, gets a lemonade at Panera. You know, admittedly, it's called, like, you know, Psycho Lemonade or something like that. So it's like a lemonade energy drink, but just a momentary lapse in judgment or whatever. She drinks a super lemonade, has a heart attack, and dies. That's just the sort of thing... You, you just gotta say, like, that sucks, honestly. Each cup of that lemonade has approximately four cups of coffee worth of caffeine. I'm gonna go ahead and say it, man. I know everybody likes to believe everything is within their control. They're like, if I had a heart condition, I, didn't, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know... Probably half of us, myself included, watching this have like high blood sugar and, and then we're still like, yeah, sure, I'll take a second fat tug. I think that that's too much. They, I mean, what do you mean that's not that much caffeine? Four cups of coffee in a cup of lemonade? That's a lot of caffeine, bro. Like just because your Kyle ass is overdosing on White Monster every day, like come on. I drink coffee. I would, like, I don't want to sound like I'm pretending to be a hard ass or whatever. Like, I would definitely survive drinking the Panera, Panera lemonade. That is a lot of caffeine, though. Let's not lie to the people out there and be like, four cups of coffee is not a lot. Just because you know a motherfucker, like, more degenerate than you, doesn't mean it's not a lot. We got, we got coffee inflation. Okay, good, you got me, you got me. By the way, when we were at that Disney hotel, every, just like showers, every um, hotel coffee maker is different. So this was not the K-Cups. It was like a, a classic coffee maker percolator, okay? And then those weird little like pre, they, they, it's coffee that comes in a filter that you put into the top of it. So I had to read the instructions for it because I was trying to figure it out. And it said like, for a normal coffee maker, Use four cups of water and then just throw the shit in the, in the percolator. And I said, no problem. But then it said, note, if you have a 12-cup coffee maker, fill it all the way up. And in my head, I said, wouldn't that make for the weakest cup of coffee all time? But I'm out here. I'm trusting Joffrey's Coffee House. I said, I looked at the coffee maker. It was a 12-cup coffee maker. So I, I filled it all the way up to 12 cups, then I threw that shit in the percolator. Weakest cup of coffee I've ever seen in my entire life. I essentially, I had to drink the whole pot to get the equivalent of what I would have gotten if I'd only filled it up to like where it was supposed to be filled up. It was, do not, this is why people, I'm a noted instruction reader, because I'm, I, I think it just makes sense that the people making the shit know how to make it better than I do because my ass is just looking at it like for the first time ever. I, I hate when we like open up a piece of furniture or something like that and my dad's like, I'm not gonna look at the instructions because like I know how to build it. I'm like, bro, you're not from Sweden. You don't know how to build this. Let Ikea do the heavy lifting for you. But then I understand where that comes from. It comes from trauma where people followed the instructions and the instructions were worse than their intuition. So I, like, double betrayed when somebody writes bad instructions. Because it means that people are going to trust instructions less in the future. Can I say something as well? Again, I'm, I'm never going to beat the Midwestern elite soul and the coastal elite body type of... Uh, well, that's probably overly flattering. But anyway, I'm never going to beat those allegations. I missed 80% of the crumble cookie controversy. But I was kind of losing my mind seeing people go like, holy shit, a crumble cookie is really 800 calories. Why are people eating these? And I'm like, well, two reasons. Fucking, number one, they're pretty tasty. Number two, if you've never had a crumble cookie in your life, you would never 
assume that it's 200 calories. The thing weighs like a pound and a half. You would, you would have to be like the stupidest person on earth to pick up a crumble cookie and be like, I bet this is the same amount of calories as like a regular cookie. It's heavy, bro. Do we pick it up? It's like a brick made of flour and sugar. I was, I was kind of losing it, wondering like, wait, why are they coming for the Crumble Cookie Corporation? I guess it was because like one of the idiots on Twitter was like, my friend just opened a Crumble Cookie. Here's 10 steps to open your own Crumble Cookie bakery. But like, you know, idiots love lots of things. I'm not a crumble cookie lover, I'm just not, I was kind of losing it at everybody who's never been to a crumble cookie, going like, do people know these are 1100 calories each? Yeah, idiot, pick one up. It's like saying like, whoa, did you know like, the, every rock that you see is full of like, dense fucking minerals? Yeah, they're heavy as shit, dude. Like, I mean, you could hate on crumble cookies for like, a variety of reasons. They're... I would, if I'm going to eat 800 calories a cookie, I would rather have, like, eight Oreos than one crumble cookie. Because, like, the outside of the crumble cookie is pretty good, and then the inside is, like, raw flour. Energy drinks? I don't know. Because, like, when I was 17, the only people drinking energy drinks were 17. But they have, many of them have kept up the habit. I now see a lot of like, like anytime we have to have work done around the house, all those motherfuckers are holding monsters. It's, it's part of the, it's part of the zeitgeist now. I mean, I'm drinking coffee, like I'm not gonna act like it makes me, you know, superior to them just cause I got bean juice instead of taurine or whatever. Panera charged lemonade is washed. You know what's crazy? I bet that lady dying after she drank the lemonade is gonna make the lemonade sales go crazy. Cause like if you're, I mean, I'm not gonna say that I'm built from any different stuff. If I was at Panera, there's no shot I'm getting any drink other than the one that killed that lady. Cause I don't, I, there's a 99.999% chance it's not gonna kill me. And I get like some street cred. I'll be like, yeah. Oh, with my broccoli cheddar soup and a bread bowl. I'll take a large charged lemonade with that. I mean, a medium, a medium charged lemonade with that. I like coffee versus energy drinks because us tea folk never get involved. I got my own hangups with the tea drinkers. I don't believe that tea is better for you than coffee. I have to see the studies for one, but even if you show them to me, I'm not going to believe them. <laughs> I have to do the study myself. If you're having, you know, like a fucking mocha sucka fucka chino with, with caramel swizzle in it or whatever, sure. Some green tea with just nothing in it is gonna clear you, right? But otherwise, whenever I'm like, I, I typically just drink cold brew black, right? And then people who drink tea are like, aren't you worried about your heart? And I'm like, motherfucker, it's the same thing. It's just like wet energy. Have you seen Slackers? I don't think I can imagine any other streamer who might have seen it. Have I seen Slackers? What a ridiculous question. I love you, but I hate you. Which brings to mind how much I love you. We could have worked things out, you know. In my little room, in my little locked room. I'm sorry that you had to settle for Dave, the one dimensional man. He's filed under cocksucker in my little black book. Sweetness can rot your teeth, bittersweet, cacophony. Hold the key, you hold the... You think I don't know every word from Slackers? Devin Sawa, Jason Schwartzman. Kind of insane this information occupies space in your brain. Yeah, no, I agree. I think that sometimes when I like, I hear a song, usually like during a Peloton ride, I'll, I'll hear a song that I've literally not heard 
since like 1998 and I still know 80% of the words. I'm like, what are you doing in there? <laughs>